quick bang bang play at the end, or did you, did you lose coverage on him? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just uh, he shot it and he got the rebound, and uh, I guess maybe me and Whitey got a little mixed up there and on who to take. Yeah, it's uh, you know it seems like it's one or the other, kind of getting off to a slow start or, or uh, you know having the lead and kind of giving her up lately. So we got to figure out a way to play the full 60 minutes, and that's all it's about. Yeah, Ron was saying that with this team, you can't really afford to take the foot off the gas at any point. And is that is that easier said than done when you have a big lead like that? Well, you'd think you'd be able to do it, giving up a or having a three-goal lead. You should be able to, to stay with it for the whole game. And um, you know, for us, I don't know. We just we come out and maybe start the period a little slow, and in the second period, same thing. And in the third, they got uh, one on us too. So you know, I'm not sure what it is, but you just got to find a way to play the whole game. Luke, uh, six times this season, this club has built a three-nothing lead. Four of those times, they've let the club get back into it. Three of them, you've lost. Why is it so difficult? to keep a huge lead like that? Is it just something you haven't learned because this club doesn't do it often? I, it's all mental, I think. It's, uh, you know, staying focused for the for the whole game. And when you have a lead, you just uh, you can't let up and expect it to be easy for the rest of the game. Like you said, you got to kind of keep pushing throughout the whole game. And uh, you know, I think that's a big part of it, is just staying focused mentally.